When Martha sat in front of the doctor, she felt dizzy, like she might faint. When he gave her the terrible news, she started crying. None of it made sense, and the doctor looked just as surprised. You wouldn't expect something like this to happen to a 91-year-old, would you? Even though she was sure the doctor had to be wrong, Martha's life was about to change in a big way. Martha hadn't thought much of the first few signs. Over the winter, she gained a bit of weight around her waist, but no one really noticed. She didn't think it was anything serious. Even after eating healthy for weeks, her weight kept going up. At her age, she felt plenty of odd aches and pains, but this was different. Weight had never been an issue for her before, so how could things change so much now, at 91? Finally, Martha decided to see the doctor, hoping it would be something minor. Sadly, it wasn't. Sitting in the doctor's waiting room, with its bright, uncomfortable lighting, she felt anxious. Over the years, she'd gotten used to doctors sharing bad news, but this time, she felt a deep worry in her gut. Then they found a tumor in her abdomen. She remembered that day clearly, the day her world was flipped upside down. She felt something was wrong. The doctor suggested x-rays to check on the tumor, just in case there's anything concerning. After the x-rays, her world turned upside down once again. Who could have seen this coming? It felt like something out of a movie. As she sat in front of the doctor, he looked at the x-rays with a puzzled expression. This was something he had never seen before. Ms. Benson, did they ever tell you what this tumor was when it was first discovered? He asked, a clear sense of concern in his voice. Not understanding the depth of his concern, she shook her head. The tumor had impacted her life for decades, and she'd assumed that if it were dangerous, she would have known long ago. But the reality was much more complicated. The doctor glanced over the results again, his expression unreadable. Finally, he spoke, Mrs. Benson, I'm sorry to say that the results are worse than we anticipated. She felt her stomach twisting. The truth wasn't what she expected. Martha Benson, 91, had lived her entire life in a small town in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. For more than seven decades, she and her husband Walter lived in the same modest house. They were truly inseparable, thrilled to share their lives together. The couple remained madly in love for 76 years, and it seemed that nothing could part them, except for one heartbreaking event. Martha prayed for a miracle when Walter was diagnosed with stage three lung cancer. Sadly, in June of 2016, the love of her life passed away peacefully in his sleep. Martha struggled to imagine life without him. After his death, Martha found it increasingly difficult to care for herself. She barely had the strength to prepare a meal. Just when she thought things couldn't get worse, she realized they could. For the past 76 years, Walter had been by her side through every challenge. Now, she faced the agony of waking up to an empty bed each morning. Was there any way she could go on? She tried to maintain a positive attitude most days, but it was hard. Every time she closed her eyes, she saw his face. So many beautiful memories flooded her mind, and she couldn't help but dwell on them. Martha had one regret, however, that she would never share with anyone else. Just a year after she and Walter married, they discovered that she couldn't conceive. They had always wanted a family, but it just didn't seem to be in the cards. When Martha first received the heartbreaking news, she was devastated and searched for answers, but no one could explain why she couldn't have children. The day she finally learned the truth, her entire world shifted. In her younger years, Martha would often see families with young children, and each time, she felt a pang of sadness. She couldn't shake the feeling that she had somehow failed as a wife. What kind of woman can't make her husband a father, she would think. But years later, she discovered the truth. She had a tumor in her body. It was benign, but the knowledge was still terrifying. Little did she know what this tumor truly was. As time passed, Martha felt the effects of her husband's death in more ways than just loneliness. She struggled to pay the bills and worried about the challenges that came with growing older. In recent months, she had gained an unexplained amount of weight. Though she tried to monitor her diet carefully, she couldn't understand what was happening to her body. The harder she tried to lose weight, the more she seemed to gain. It made no sense. She had never liked doctor visits, but she knew it was time to get to the bottom of this issue. After explaining her situation to her doctor, he suggested taking x-rays. I also want to take a closer look at that tumor you mentioned, just in case anything is wrong, he told Martha. She went in for the x-rays, but the results would turn her world upside down. Who could have predicted this? It felt like something out of a movie. As the doctor carefully examined the x-rays of Martha sitting in front of him, he seemed confused by what he saw. This was unlike anything he had ever encountered. Mrs. Benson, back when they first told you about this tumor, did they say what it was? The doctor asked, the concern evident in his voice. She shook her head, not fully understanding his worry. They didn't do many tests on it. They just said it wasn't dangerous, she explained, shrugging her shoulders. I guess they were right because it's decades later, and I'm still kicking, she joked. But the doctor didn't laugh. Instead, his face filled with dread. You must excuse me for a moment, he said before leaving the room. Martha was confused. Why did he seem so alarmed about a tumor she would had for as long as she could remember? Surely, it couldn't be that serious. She waited in his office, the seconds dragging on like hours. Where had he gone with her x-ray results? She had no idea what awaited her. When the doctor finally returned and sat opposite her, 
His face looked more puzzled than ever. The anticipation was killing her. He looked as though he'd seen a ghost. Mrs. Benson, I'm afraid that the results are worse than we expected, he began. Her stomach twisted into a knot. She wasn't ready for the truth. The doctor cleared his throat and looked down at the results once more. Mrs. Benson, you never had a tumor in the first place, he said. Martha was beyond confused, staring at the doctor with a frown on her face. What did he mean? She was sure she had a tumor. She'd seen it on the scans herself. She demanded an explanation. If it isn't a tumor, then what is it? She asked, swallowing hard. She didn't know if the doctor was playing a cruel joke, but something didn't add up. A thin layer of sweat had appeared on his forehead as he glanced back at the results. What Martha had inside her was something far more alarming than a tumor. The doctor had never seen anything like this before. Martha was becoming overwhelmed and angry, but the doctor was too shocked to speak. After a long pause, he finally gathered the courage to tell her the truth. As the words spilled from his mouth, everything around Martha went silent. A thousand questions ran through her mind, and she felt as if she was going to be sick. She sat there, stunned by what he was telling her, wishing it were all just a nightmare, but it wasn't. This was her reality. She placed a hand on her stomach and looked up at the doctor, thinking he must have lost his mind. But what he told her left her speechless. The truth was that 91-year-old Martha was pregnant. Overwhelmed with emotion, she struggled to comprehend his words. How could this be? What on earth is going on? She managed to ask. The doctor spoke gently. The baby is actually the remains of a fetus. Martha was speechless as he explained more. After more tests, he concluded that she had been carrying this baby for about 60 years. Martha was heartbroken. She had always dreamed of having a family with her husband, but she couldn't. And all this time, an unborn child had been inside her for over half a century. But how is this possible? She asked. It's a rare condition called lithopedion, the doctor explained. It only happens to a tiny number of women worldwide. Doctors call these fetuses stone babies. It happens when a fetus begins to develop outside the womb. Sadly, this happened to Martha back when there was hardly any research on the condition. Martha could hardly believe what she was hearing. She had lived her life thinking she couldn't give her husband any children. It broke her heart, but she had learned to live with it. On the drive home, Martha struggled to process what she had learned. She wished Walter were still here. She needed someone to talk to. When she got home, she decided to do something she rarely did. She went to her bedroom closet, reached behind her coats, and took out a box of letters. These were the letters Walter had written to her throughout their life together. She lay on his side of the bed, holding the letters and read them one by one. Her heart felt broken. She longed to be close to him, to tell him about the baby and this strange condition, but she couldn't. Tears ran down her cheeks as she read letter after letter. Walter always had a way with words and she missed him so much. She read until she fell asleep and that night, she dreamed of the man she had loved her whole life. In her dream, she imagined what it would have been like if they'd had children together. She always knew he would have been a wonderful father. It would take time to come to terms with this news, but Martha knew that with time, she would be okay.